Hey guys, it's your girl Diamond. I'm back with another vid. Cuss the fuck up, pig. Cuss, period. So I just wanted to hop on here really quickly and give you guys a little mini story time of what happened to me today. So, here it goes. <laughs> so, all day today, I've been running around doing errands, getting ready for my senior pictures, which are tomorrow. So today I had to get my nails and toes done and my eyebrows. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it literally took all day. But anyways, so first, okay, how do I explain this? I wanted to try finding a new nail tech, a black nail tech in particular, because I wanted to, you know, support black businesses, cause why not? And you know how, black people be a little extra with the, the girls that do nails and lashes and hair and all of that they always want like a deposit and they always have like this really long list of rules and regulations and I was sure like I was sure to read every word on that booking site so that there were no misunderstandings there were no miscommunications so that everything was smooth sailing but I honestly don't know if in this situation I was in the wrong or if the person was in the wrong because okay so let me just say out the situation instead of talking around it. So I go all the way out to the suburbs. Imagine this was probably like an hour away. So I go all the way out there, get to the house, and you know, walk in. She said I need a soak off. So she said if you needed a soak off, then you should come an hour early. So my appointment was at 2.45, but I got there probably like 1.30-ish. So I go in, right, and she immediately like looks at my nails and is like, oh, I don't do soak-offs for um, other people's work. So I'm like, what? Like, what you mean you don't do soak-offs on other people's work? And she was like, oh, it was on, it's on my booking site. And I'm like, it's on your booking site, okay. First of all, I read this thing like two to three times, proofread it all of that just to make sure that I got all the details. And it did say like, I don't work on other people's work. But I didn't know that a soak off counts as working on top of somebody else's work. Because if you really think about it, you're not technically working on top of somebody else's work because you're not adding anything to it. You're taking it off, you're removing something. So I felt like that was like a real big turn off to me. Like, what do you mean? And you didn't really specify that on the booking site. So yeah, what do you mean? So she was just like, oh, you can just go to like a nail shop around here and just have them soak it off. I'm like, for all of that, I might as well just let another nail shop do my nails. So you tell me, I already done drove an hour out here and you want me to go to a nail shop to get my nails soaked off and then come all the way back here like babes gas is hot <laughs> ain't nobody got time for all of that okay nobody has the time to be doing all that back and forth driving so at that point i'm irritated my mom's irritated and my mom asked me like do you want me to ask her to give you your deposit back and i was a little iffy about it because you know how people be oh no no refund deposit not refundable and i just didn't have the time i just didn't have the time nor the patience but my mom ended up going in and talking to her and she ended up telling her that she'll send it to her mind you it's like what what time is it it's 6 20 and i have still yet to get my deposit and this happened at 1 30 like i mentioned before. but anywho yeah that just really was like what <laughs> so i ended up going to this nail shop that i usually go to to get my nails done quite often actually and it was only about 15 minutes away so it was like cool whatever so I get there and they're telling me that it's a 20 minute to half an hour wait and mom has something to do. So at that point I was just irritated because you know we're on other people's time. 
time and it was just getting like a little eh, am i gonna get my nails done today but i have to get my nails done today so either way i was gonna get them done but yeah so we go in and the girl immediately starts soaking me off cool so to make a long story short um you know i ended up getting my nails done not the person that usually does my nails at this nail shop because she only works two days out of the week and one of those days is not today so i ended up having to just use somebody else and it actually came out pretty good like um yeah i'm satisfied with it like i know they know how to do nails you know it looks pretty good i got the dip powder and milky white but this is where it came to the point where i was just like overly irritated and it just wasn't making sense to me the price so when was they gonna tell me that nail shop started charging twenty dollars to soak your nails off like $20 like you're not doing anything it's not like you're putting something on my nose it's not like you you're not putting anything on it you're just taking it off why does it cost $20 to take something off like are you actually serious right now okay they charged me $20 to soak my nails off then they charged me an extra $10 just because my nails are long mind you I don't wear fake nails, so like, you know, when they do the tip and they have to glue it on their nail, I don't wear those. These are my real nails. I just grow them out since I like my nails to be long. I just grew them out so that I don't have to wear the fake nails because they're just not healthy and that's just a whole nother video. But yeah, she charged me 10 extra dollars because my nails are long and my thing with that is why is you charging me for something that's mine? Like, it's not like you putting the tip on my nail to make it long. I came in here and it was already long. So, I just don't get it. And then, it's another $5 for your shape, which I got coughing. Again, if my nails was already in coughing shape before I got here, why are you charging me an extra $5 for that? When you just, like cleaning up the shape as if you would with any other shape you, even if you just get square you still have to do a little you know to clean it up make it look sharp so that's 35 extra dollars right there and i got the dip powder so that was 48 dollars it came out to 83 dollars and i was just like okay <laughs> Your girl does not have a nine to five. We do part time. So, <laughs> uh, whose salary is like somebody can afford eighty three dollars for their nails? Like, I was just really bad fool, and I didn't want to look like the angry black woman. So I didn't call like try to cause a big scene or anything. I was just in my head like, are you serious right now? Like, this could not never be edited. Let me show y'all one more time that this look like 83 dollars i don't see not a rhinestone not a heart not a nothing i ain't getting not one design and that alone for me was just like are you sure like they look so plain <laughs> they look so plain but yeah i was like I still am livid about the like I the most I've ever spent on nails one set I would say 60 at the most I would spend 65 not no 80 ain't anything no like you're doing too much I would spend $80 if I'm getting my nails and toes done that was just for the nails like it's just like I'm at a loss for words like I don't even know what to say my bank account is throwing tomatoes at me like <laughs> uh, corny lame boo tomato 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 I'm throwing tomatoes like I just great spending habits diamond just just great also usually at the nail shop like halfway through they'll tell you 
how much it'll be just so that they know that you're okay with it. That did not happen here. So I was completely blindsided. I'm like, uh, since when do they charge $20 for a so-called flight? I literally could have did that myself. For $83, I could have bought all the materials myself and be doing my nails myself from now on because at this point, I'm really considering becoming my own nail tech because it would definitely save me a lot of coins. <laughs> but not even just that. That whole situation on the car ride back home, it just got me to thinking about the prices of stuff and how everything seems to just be going up. Like, first it was the gas, and then they said that was because of the war in Ukraine. Okay, I understand that, but what do we have to do with Ukraine? Well, I know we they probably they ally or something, but still, they don't got nothing to do with us. And what does our gas have to do with that? Not even just that. Next, it was the groceries. What does our food have to do with that? Then everything else, like everyday living things, like you know, nails, clothes. Like when we go to the mall, I went to the mall and I'm just looking at the stuff like. This wasn't never this much money before. Like, I don't know, something, something ain't right. And then we went to go get something to eat. And um, this same place that I've been going to for years now, years. And mom got a shake. She got a medium shake. And I'm just looking at the cup, like that cup was bigger. Like. <laughs> It wasn't never that small. It's like everything, like the quality of things are going down while the prices are going up. And I'm just not vibing with it. Like, it's, it's not sitting right with me since I'm getting to the age of, you know, having to pay for things and, you know, just fending for yourself. And I'm just really seeing, like, mm -mm, I don't like this. I'm not vibing with the world right now on this precious thing. Like, it's just really out of control, out of control, out of control. But yeah, that was all I had for you guys in today's video. I just had to do that little rant because that's something that's really been on my mind and I just wanted to get it off my chest, you know? So thank you guys for watching today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, yeah, bye babes.